Tupac, Afeni, Asada Shakur, America's Most Wanted, Dead or Alive, the reason why the Shakurs are targeted. President Donald Trump recently demanded that Asada Shakur be returned to America during his speech in Miami, which detailed his reversal of President Obama's initiative to build a better relationship with Cuba. Trump said to the Cuban government that we need to put an end to the abuse of dissidents, release political prisoners, stop jailing innocent people, and open yourselves to political and economic freedoms, return fugitives from American justice, including the return of cop killer Joanne Chesimar, a.k.a. Asada Shakur. However, the Cuban government is not interested in Trump, nor his demands. Gustavo Munchen, Deputy Director of American Affairs at the Cuban Ministry of Foreign Affairs, responded to Trump and said that it's off the table to even consider returning Asada Shakur. Cuba currently has up to 70 political prisoners that have been granted political asylum. Asada Shakur, who is now 67, was a member of the Black Panthers and Black Liberation Army, during which in the 1960s and 70s were put under COINTEL for a watch. In 1973, Asada Shakur and two others were convicted of allegedly murdering a New Jersey state trooper on a New Jersey turnpike. She was sentenced to life in prison, even though the evidence showcased otherwise. She will become the great aunt Tupac Shakur, who will become the controversial New Age Panther movement of which they were watching intently. There are many people who don't want to believe that Tupac and Asada could still exist and be on the move. And there are those that want to lie and say that Tupac was a part of some CIA program to mislead the youth, which is all a part of the brainwashing of the next generation to the struggle. But the truth is the truth. In 1979, members of the Black Liberation Army helped Asada Shakur escape from Clinton Correctional Facility for Women. Her whereabouts have remained unknown until she surfaced in Cuba in 1985 after being granted political asylum by Fidel Castro. In her memoir, Asada, she revealed how she became an activist and maintained her innocence when she discussed the crime that she was allegedly supposed to have committed. Asada Shakur's life journey has also inspired songs by people like Common Sense, who has a song called A Song for Asada, which was released on the album that he dropped that was called, I think, like Water for Chocolate. But all of this political injustice that's going on in America, it's all tied to what happened with Tupac Shakur. And everyone knows that the search for them is still on. And they're still plotting on ways. I mean, it was just raised up to $2 million they try to put on their head. And they still got many political prisoners in the United States locked up and locked down for no apparent reason. But this is all happening, and it's real. So anyone that doesn't believe what happened to Asada and what happened with the Feeney defeating them in court and freeing herself is a fool. You know, anyone who believes that Assad is really not on the run and that Tupac wasn't being watched and that he wasn't, you know what I'm saying, straight for the people and straight for bringing about the new Panther Party for the new, you know, generation and era to understand, <laughs> you blinded. They got you. Their psyops work, they got you brainwashed, and you really don't know what's going on, but you got to pay attention because there's a reason why they're still hunting and searching. There's a reason why the CIA said they don't know the whereabouts of Tupac Shakur. There's a reason why, you know, Suge and others didn't even know what was going on up until Vegas that night. All of that, you know, is, is coming out, you know, when you see what happened with Suge Knight and the time he's getting. But you just got to pay attention because they still hunting for Pac and the truth is out there and don't believe the haters and don't believe the hype. First woman to be added to the FBI's most wanted uh, terrorist list, uh, and then to learn that they're adding another million dollars to uh, the reward, the bounty. Uh, really, uh, uh, it seems to me that this act um, incorporates uh, or reflects the, the the very logic of terrorism. Uh, uh, I can't help but think that it's uh, designed to. Um, 
uh, frighten people who are involved in struggles today. Uh, 40 years ago seems as if it were a long time ago, four decades. Uh, however, in the 21st century, at the beginning of the 21st century, we're still fighting around the very same issues. Uh, police violence, uh, uh, health care, education, people in prison, and so forth. So I see this as an attack not so much on Asata herself, although, of course, she uh, deserves uh, 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 to be brought home. She deserves to be able to live out her life uh, uh, in, in, with justice. And, and peace. Uh, um, uh, it was wonderful uh, that you allowed people through this uh, program to hear uh, Asata's words, uh, uh, because 40 years later, people really uh, don't know the details of the case and are not aware of the extent to which she was targeted by the FBI, by the COINTEL program, as, as Lennox uh, pointed out. Uh, and it's, it, it's amazing that uh, uh, um, in 2013, where she is um, living in Cuba as a political refugee, having, given, having been given political asylum by Cuba, she is still pursued. And actually, this is an invitation for anyone to um, uh, travel to Cuba illegally and to kidnap her and bring her back to the United States if not uh, 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 shoot her uh, dead. This is, uh, 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 as I said, was a, an extremely um, um, shocking revelation. And, and Angela Davis, the, gover the government statement that she remains a threat to the United States, uh, the implication being that she's somehow still uh, trying to organize uh, attacks uh, on the country, it's, uh, it really is mind-boggling. It's one thing to say we have a, cold, a case here of someone who's still wanted. It's another thing to say that they're still a threat to the United States uh, when there's been no indication uh, over the last uh, 30, 40 years that, that Asad Shakur has been involved in any, in any type of uh, uh, movements or organizations directed against uh, uh, the United States government. Well, see, there's always this um, slippage uh, between what should be protected free speech, that is to say the advocacy of revolution, the advocacy of, of radical change, uh, and uh, what the FBI represents as uh, terrorism. Uh, you know, certainly Asata continues, continues to advocate uh, radical transformation of this country, as many of us do. Uh, uh, um, you know, I continue to say that uh, we need revolutionary change. This is why it seems to me that the, um, the uh, attack on her reflects the logic of terrorism because it precisely is designed to frighten young people, especially today, who would be involved in um, the kind of radical activism that might lead to change. But you're absolutely right. Uh, Asada is not a threat. Uh, if anything, this is a, this is a vendetta. Uh, uh, she is uh, innocent, and, 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 and many of us have looked at the evidence, and as Lennox pointed out, there's no way that she could have possibly uh, 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 been um, the, the person who killed uh, uh, Forster uh, because she had her hands up and was shot in the back uh, with her hands in the air uh, and could not have used a gun at that time. And so to represent her as a, as a person who continues to be a threat to um, uh, the U.S. government in the way that is described uh, is, uh, it seems to me, an effort to strike fear in the hearts of young people who would be active in the struggles that are represented uh, historically by Asata and struggles that continue today, struggles against police violence, for example, continue the fact, con consider the fact that uh, um, so many people have been killed by the police in recent years. Uh, and I'm, I'm thinking about Kamani Gray in New York. Uh, I'm thinking about Alan uh, uh, Bluford in Oakland. I'm, of course, Oscar Grant in Oakland. I'm thinking about the some uh, 63 people who were killed uh, uh, last year in, in, in Chicago.